everyone welcome back to my youtube channel um as promised i did get the video footage edited um for the card that i created for last weekend's dare to be artsy instagram hop um i had about six and a half hours worth of footage um <laughs> and you'll understand why here in a little bit um so i wanted to um get something out so that you could see this card um and how i created it I'm starting off here by coloring up um, two of the mermaids from the Mermazing stamp set. And the Mermazing stamp set actually has um, three mermaids in it. Um, and then it has some little, um, it has a fish and a starfish and a um, seashell and a little glass of wine. And it has some um, ocean plants that you can also add. And it has four sentiments. So one of them says you are Mermazing. Cheers and Mermaids and Mimosas. That's where you can use the little uh, wine glass or I guess champagne glass. And then a sentiment says make waves. <clears throat> this is an awesome stamp set. Um, and these mermaids are so cute and so fun to color. Um, and so basically I started off um, and I used my Artify, Artify um, skin color set um, to color the skin tones. And um, I'm starting off coloring the, the mermaid that you see here on the right. And I'm using a combination of uh, purple and teal colors for her. And I had a little, um, I colored this, I had intend to color both on the same date. Um, and I didn't because um, I started this late in the evening and so I colored her and then um, I decided to color the other mermaid the following day and I didn't have as much success and so I ended up coloring the other mermaid with a little poofy hair. I actually colored her three different times um, and <clears throat> finally third time was a charm and it worked out. Um, I was trying to do some ink blending that or some uh, alcohol marker blending that wasn't working out very well. Um, but here I'm just using my chroma markers and I am coloring her up and trying to get a good blend between the two colors. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put on a little bit of music. Um, this video has a lot of coloring in it. I kept um, the majority of it in so you can see the process for coloring them. And I'll catch you back when I'm done coloring.
Okay, I am just finishing up um, the second mermaid. Um, I colored her in some shades of orange and pink, as you can see, and then I added in a little bit of purple um, for her tail. Um, and I did her hair a funky, um, you can't really tell, but there are little shades of brown in there, um, but pink and purple. So she's got some kind of fun hair going on. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna zoom out here, um, and we're gonna move on to how I created the background. Um, I have the coordinating dies for these, so I use the coordinating dies for the mermaids to cut them out. And you can see my mistakes that I made um, with the other one, so that's why I recolored it. Anyway, um, for the background, I am just using some Distress Oxide inks, and I'm blending that on. I did um, die cut this before I ink blended, um, and so I'm, I'm actually ink blending this on a waffle flower stencil mat, um, which is a nice um, silicone mat, which makes it really easy because it kind of holds everything in place so it doesn't move around too much, and so it's great for ink blending. And I am not trying to do traditional ocean colors, obviously. Um, you know, who knows what color the plant life is on the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> But I thought it would make it bright and vibrant, and that's kind of what I was going for. So that's why I've got kind of a plethora of colors <clears throat> here with this. But I really like how it turned out. And I'm using some mini ink blending brushes just because um, these are pretty detailed um, die cuts. And this is actually, the name of this die is called the Ocean Floor Die. And this die was actually um, part of the new release um, that just came out also. So um, it has this, um, the main background die, but then it all comes, it also comes with five additional little dies. Um, so you get some kelp, a fish, um, a seashell, um, some bubbles, and there's something else. Um, one, two, three, four, five. No, I guess that's right. So fish, kelp, seashell, bubbles and then there's another uh, little plant life that comes with it also I believe so it's a really good um, background and this coordinates well with um, all the other uh, new stamps that were in the release because there's also some seahorses um, and some jellyfish um, so those stamps would coordinate well with this also so I'm just going through and adding in um, some different colors. Um, I did go back and um, go back over my coral again just to brighten it up a little bit. And I'm going to set that aside, clean off my mat, and then I'm going to do the uh, bottom of the ocean floor. So I'm painting it or uh, ink blending it a little bit like a sandy beach kind of color. Um, so adding in some a couple different colors of ink here to just give it a sandy look. I wasn't really sure how I was going to do that, but I think it turned out well. Um, I had a couple places where I had um, over inked on the coral, and I think this covered it up pretty well. So you could also put a piece of paper um, behind that where the starfish is um, and have a different color starfish on the bottom. And I did go through and I did um, add some splatter to it. So I'm using my um, Spectrum Noir. Um, these are my sparkle pens. Um, so I used a clear sparkle and then I did um, like a teal blue sparkle and added some additional sparkle into that. Um, and then just um, basically splattered those over the background. And then I also added some gold sparkle too. Um, and I let those dry a little bit after I got done sparkling here, sparkling the background. I think it looks really it looks really cool in person. It's kind of hard to tell from the video, but it just adds something to it. And I did spritz a little water on this. Um, it, it's such a small frame area that it's kind of hard to tell. But so for my background behind that, I am stamping um, the waves, and this is from the what is the name of this set? <laughs> I think it's called. This stamp set is called the Under the Sea Sentiments, um, and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight um, additional sentiments, and um, a starfish, and some seashells, and a conch shell, and some bubbles, and then it has these awesome waves. And so what I did was I just basically stamped the waves, um, and I used um, a couple different Dare to Be Artsy inks for this. Um, I used the Paradise Teal and the Midnight Blue inks, and just kind of... Um, 
sort of blended them together on the stamp um, and then I um, stamped over them again with um, embossing ink and heat set them with clear embossing powder so it kind of gives like a reflection um, it looks like water and I think it turned out really well um, so I did a few of those on the background and now I'm um, gonna do some more ink blending on this um, to make it look like the ocean um, so I'm starting out with um, sort of a lighter color and I will blend it into a darker color towards the bottom <clears throat> this was a lot of fun to create this background um, and I really like how those waves turned out it looks pretty cool So I'm pulling out my media mat, my, my waffle flower media mat again for ink blending this. And I started out really light and then I end up going back and going over it again. And um, I'm going to use a stencil here in a little bit <clears throat> to kind of make it look like um, I, I was envisioning when you look at like an ocean scene, how the sun casts down through the ocean and you can kind of see the rays of the sun. Um, through the water and so I used a stencil and kind of blended on a, a different color ink. I actually used the cracked pistachio, sort of, sort of a green color, um, and gave it sort of that sun reflection and then ink blended back over that again with my colors and it turned out really cool. It, I was watching the video when I was editing it and I'm like, oh wow, you can really see it. In person it, it didn't show up as much as I thought it would, um, but then I noticed in the video that you can really tell. So it's kind of a cool effect. And on this, the background doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to put that die cut ocean floor background over top of it. So if your ink blending is not perfect, don't worry about it because nobody's going to notice. And here I am with the stencil. Um, this is a stencil from my stash I just grabbed because I th kind of thought it looked like sun rays. And um, I the stencil is very picky and I thought well I'll try to just ink blend it and then I realized eh, it's not going to work so I used some uh, pixie spray on the back of it and for some reason the pixie spray didn't help it much so I kind of had to hold it in place while I ink blended those um, sun rays and like I said I'm just using cracked pistachio here and I'm kind of blending through it not even <clears throat> excuse me not even trying to do a really good job at this I just wanted it to be very very subtle not something that was going to stand out too much. It looks kind of cool. I mean, here it looks cool, but then even more so when you see that I'm going to go back over it with the original inks that I ink blended the background with. And it starts to show up more for some reason. I don't know why that is. <laughs> so here you can see I'm blending in more of that background and just trying to kind of make it blend a little bit more but you can see how the rays are starting to show up more as the as I blend more ink onto it it shows more and more so I thought that was kind of a cool effect and it looks nice and like in hindsight I'm looking at this going why didn't I add any bubbles I should have added some bubbles but I think it turned out well so I also cut a piece of the um, new paper from the make waves collection is that right Yes, it's the Make Waves collection. Um, this is the wavy lines, um, kind of watery background. So I cut um, a piece of that using the uh, Dare to Be Artsy Framelit dies. And then I realized, I got everything done and I realized, oh, you know, I don't have a fish. So I um, die cut one of the fish. Um, and I actually um, put some adhesive on the back of this to hold it in place. And then I colored it. Um, colored it in the negative so it was easier to color and uh, just adding a little bit of different color in there. So I wanted something that was going to pop and I think the fish definitely was a nice added touch. So yeah, it turned out well. And I actually, I think for some reason I have two different sizes of fish. So I don't know what size actually comes with this. I think um, in my design team kit I got an extra fish. So I think I got one small fish and one big fish, but I think this is the larger of the two. So. So for my mermaids, um, I kind of wanted them to be intertwined with the um, the, the plants um, from the ocean floor dye. So I kind of put them in place and then sort of glued them to that before I put it on my background. So here I'm just lining things up. 
and I'm going to put this on my background. I'm going to use a little um, dimensional foam. I'm going to add my fish in first. I put some dimensional foam on him and I did put um, some dimensional foam on the mermaids as well after the, after the glue dried, um, kind of holding them in place. Then I went back in and added some additional dimensional foam just to shore up the places that wouldn't um, that wouldn't be covered. This little fish was kind of tiny. <laughs> Trying to get some little dimensional foam pieces on that. I need to get some different foam that isn't so big that I don't have to cut down so much. I love how that little fish just popped. The nice yellow. And then I'm going to put him in place. And then I had a a moment of thought after I got everything put on there. I'm like, this needs something. Um, I actually went in with a uh, Sakura Jelly Roll uh, shimmer pen. And I added just a line up above my heat embossed waves. So it kind of creates like a reflection on the waves. Um, and it looks really cool. I wish I had thought of it before I glued the background in place because as you can see it was a little bit hard for me to add that pen detail in there with those die cut pieces already adhered in place. Um, but definitely a nice effect because um, it kind of makes it look like the light's reflecting off of those waves. And it turned out really cute. And I love how the uh, Make Waves paper coordinates with everything. Um, it's such a great paper pack. I highly recommend it. I highly recommend the stamp set. The stamp set was so much fun. And the die, um, the ocean floor die, is very cool. So I love how this card turned out. <clears throat> and I'm just going to add a sentiment in here. Um, and I grabbed my sentiment from the uh, Under the Sea sentiment set. I used the Splashy and Sassy. And I just heat embossed that sentiment um, and I cut it on one of the uh, Dare to be Artsy, I believe it was one of the slimline sets um, that had a flag die. So I just stamped it on that. Um, I did shorten it down just a little bit um, when I die cut it so it would fit on the my card panel. And I added a little bit of dimensional foam to everything and I um, put that on a top folding um, card base. Uh, that I made from 110 pound Nena cardstock. So I'm going to zoom out here and give you a final look at the finished card. Thank you so much for joining me. Please click the like and subscribe to get all of my content. Thank you.